Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing in my crime scene? Anyone ever tell you all you feds on the same? Who are you? Detective Maggie Sawyer, NCPD Science Division. Spread your mind, show me yours. Alex Danvers Secret Service. We'll take it from here. The airport's within my jurisdiction. Your jurisdiction ends where I say it does. See you around, Danvers. I found the missing Kryptonian. Where? Uh, looks like an abandoned warehouse in the Arts District. How'd you find this place? I'm a detective, Agent Danvers, I detect. You're DEO, aren't you? Danvers, wanna see how us local cops deal with aliens? He moved on quick. She's my ex. Maggie. A couple hundred might jog my memory. That woman kidnapped Maggie Sawyer. A woman who risks her life every day fighting for your rights. She cares about what happens to you. The least you can do is return the favor. You guys are fun. You know, I don't really do well with partners, but I think we made a pretty good team. Yeah, I guess we did. <laughs> you should really get some rest. You, know, you can stay here if you want. No, I can't. Are you gonna hot date or something? Actually, I do, and I don't want to leave the lady waiting, so... See you around, Danvers. Danvers. It's Sawyer. Want to see a dead body? Seems like you do got a handle. Well, maybe you can uh, go over this with the contacts in the streets. I already made a few calls, but I'll follow up though. Sawyer. Danvers, got a tip. You in? That was fast. Text any of the location. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Wear something nice. You clean up nice? I do. <laughs> well, you do too with the shoes and the hair and <laughs> all the not all business. But this is, right? I mean, what are we doing here? Wait for it. Here. like this, I could use a drink, so what do you say? First round's on me. No, oh, can't. Hey, babe. Maggie is such a terrible pool player. I mean, I even tried to let her win and she couldn't keep up. Mag Maggie, the NCPD officer. Yeah, well, she's been kind of down. Her, um, her girlfriend broke up with her. With the rate that you play, we'd be here for hours. Your girlfriend went up to put out an APD. Not likely we broke up. Oh my God, what happened? She dumped me. She dumped you? <laughs> Who would do that? I don't know, lately she just hasn't really been acting like Maggie. You know, she's normally so tough. Now she just seems so vulnerable. And I just wish I could help her. Thought she was what? Look, I appreciate the beer and the pool, but I think I need to go home and drink something a little harder and lose my coal. See you later. I try to stay out of other people's relationships. Mm -hmm. Like you stayed out of Kara's relationship? Oh, okay. Now that was different. I was into Kara. It's not like you're into this Maggie person. We'll, we'll go and, uh, you know, have fun and, and celebrate single them. I don't really feel like celebrating getting dumped. Maggie, that's, a, that's not what I meant. What do you mean? I just thought that we could go and have some fun. Get, keep each other company. You and me? Yes, why? Why, what's, what's wrong with that? Nothing, I just, I think I read you wrong. What do you mean? I, I didn't know you were into girls. 
I'm not. Oh, my bad then, sorry. No, 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 I mean, no offense, Maggie. I... No, I get it, you're not gay. Right. You'd be surprised how many gay women I've heard that from. You know, people just have to, we have to figure out what works for them. You know, who they are inside. What they're meant to be. I... I'm sorry if I was too forward the other day. That wasn't my place. My whole life has been about being perfect. But the one part of my life that I've never been able to make perfect was dating. I just never really liked it. I, I, I don't know, I mean, I, mean I, I tried, you know, I got, I got asked out. I just, I never liked being intimate. I just, I thought maybe that's just not the way that I was built, you know? It's just not my thing. I never, I never thought that it was because of the other, the thought, <laughs> maybe I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Now, now I just, I can't, I can't stop thinking about. About what? That maybe there's some truth to what you said. experience is different. I can only tell you what I did. Which is what? I came out to my family. Maybe it's just a phase. You know, maybe it isn't real. No, it's real. You're real. And you deserve to have a real, full, happy life. Okay? Tell your family. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened to you, and you shouldn't have to do it alone. I have you. Yeah, you do. And I'm good for a drink when you come out. You promise. Cross my heart. It's about Maggie. I started to develop feelings for her. Feelings. Like, yeah. Those, those, those feelings. I'm up all night just thinking about it. I know you haven't been dating much but lately. This isn't because I haven't found the right guy. I never said it was. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand, okay? I think I owe you an apology for not creating an environment where you felt like you could talk about this with me. So what about Maggie? What's she like? <laughs> I, uh, I always like her so much. Hey, Maggie. Fanvers. She's smart, she's tough, and she's just beautiful. You told Kara? Yeah, you did. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. She's so beautiful. So are you. I'll go get the alien. You get the girl. I'm buying all night. What do you have? Tell. I shouldn't get involved with something that's just fresh off the boat. Those, those relationships never really work out. I'm here for you. But as a friend. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're, we're cool. Alex, don't go. I'll see you. And I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just kept my mouth shut. What happened? <sighs> she doesn't like me. Like that. So <laughs> humiliated. No, no. <laughs> Danvers. It's been a hot minute. Maggie, this is um everyone. It's James, Wynn, and Kara. Oh, 
the sister. Yeah, oh, I've heard so much about you from Alex, and I've heard all about you. Okay, I like you, Alex. It's just, you know, the situation. It's nothing personal. No, I didn't think it was. Still friends? Of course. Come on, Alex, we're friends. No, Maggie. We're not friends. You told me that my feelings were real and that I deserved to be happy. And so I thought you meant that I deserved to be happy with you, Alex. I don't know, I, I, I'm not done. I was sure of one thing, and that was my feelings for you. I was proud to come out. It was about my feelings for this amazing woman. But all I feel is pain because you don't want me. Oh, Alex, that's not why Just, I... you know what? Save it. I care about you a lot. You've become really important to me, and um, I hope that one day you and I could be friends. Because I don't want to imagine my life without you in it. Thank you. When you first suggested that I was gay, I, uh, I denied it. And then I thought that it was just about you. I mean, how would I not like you? And now I realize that it, it wasn't about you, but it's, it's about me living my life. So, thank you. Anytime. I thought that you, you came out for me, and that scared me. Um, but, um, My life is too short. And we should be who we are. And we should kiss the girls that we want to kiss. And I really just, I, I want to kiss you. me that's <laughs> that's what i got of course you're not gonna go crazy on me are you probably <laughs> yeah i have plans ah unless you need me to cancel them. no no i need you to go be with your girlfriend <laughs> i kind of have a, I have a girlfriend go oh. honey <laughs> you're wearing my t-shirt yeah is that okay that's amazing maggie maggie slept over you slept in my apartment, and now you're wearing my T-shirt and making coffee, and I can't believe this is happening, and everything coming out of my mouth is very cliche. It's called being happy. Get used to it, damn. We could call in sick. Maybe. <laughs> I've got the black lung. The black lung. <laughs> you look like you've been shot with a love ray. Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to come with you? No, no. You just keep on glowing. Supergirl's missing. If anyone can find her, it's you. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. What are you talking about? I was happy for like five minutes. What? You know, I'm sorry, this this was a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you, you have to go. I'm sorry, I, I can't. Got it, see you, Danvers. I feel like the, the universe is just magically smacking me down from being happy. You gotta give me more than that. I have always felt so responsible weight of the world, responsible. And then Supergirl went missing in, and I just, I blew a gasket. And because Supergirl's your sister. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. Look, I, I know you. The only person you get that torn up over is Kara. Plus, the glasses don't help. I always said that, too. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I, I just, I want to be happy with you. Maggie surprised me with concert tickets to the Bare Naked Ladies tonight. You are the best. I happen to have taken a rather big romantic risk recently. <laughs> and I gotta say, it pays off. Good for you, Alex. Hi! Hey, hi. What's up? Um, well, I just wanted to let you know that Maggie and I are dating. Oh, that, that was the thing, okay. I hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> Me too. I knew we were right for each other, Dammers. Maggie hates Valentine's Day. Well, that's, that's kind of a bummer. I was just finally excited to be in a relationship where we could celebrate all the cheesy stuff couples celebrate. Why don't you create a, a tailor-made Maggie Valentine's Day and you can reinvent the holiday for the both of you? I told you I hate Valentine's Day. What part of that got lost in translation? Okay. I'm listening. No, forget it. I'm out of here. Hey, no. You don't get to just walk out, Maggie. This is a relationship. You want to know? Yeah. Okay, yeah, fine. <sighs> when I told you that my parents were supportive of my coming out, I lied. My dad isn't exactly known for his open-mindedness, but he was pretty good. And so was my mom. I had this friend when I was 14, Eliza Wilkie. She was the first girl that I knew that I liked in a way that was different. So on Valentine's Day, I put a card in her locker declaring my feelings and asking her to the dance. Well, she gave that card to her parents. And then they called my parents. And that's how I was out. And then my dad kicked me out and I had to live with an aunt for three years. Why, why didn't you just tell me the truth? I didn't want to scare you, okay? I wanted it to be better for you. You, you, you I, I gotta go. Alex around? Oh, I was looking for her too, she's not here. I was hoping I could see her. I need to apologize, I acted like an idiot last night. Look, I know Valentine's Day might not be happy for you, but it means something to Alex to spend a romantic holiday with someone she cares about. So maybe you, you might want to consider making some changes for her. Wow, you're breathtaking. Maggie, what is all this? May I? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was too busy nursing my old wounds and I forgot to look at this gorgeous woman in front of me and consider her feelings. You deserved all of this as a girl, the pomp and the fuss, mm -hmm. and you deserve an amazing romance with a woman who is absolutely crazy about you. Don't you hate all this? Alex, you're the one woman that could make me like Valentine's Day. May I have this dance? <laughs> yeah, yes. They told me, but I didn't believe it. Alex, oh, my Alex. Dad, this is my girlfriend, Maggie. Things have changed. You betrayed everyone. How could you? Hey, I'm here. You can tell me anything. Hey, look at me. What happened with your dad? <gasps> oh, <sorry. laughs> hey. You want to protect your dad, that's what you need to do. And you'll help me, ride or die. I wish I had what you two have. When we broke up, she said that I didn't deserve to be happy. She cheated on me. I thought a lot about this. When your parents didn't accept you, you stopped trusting people that are closest to you. You don't like to talk about you. I know. But Maggie, you don't have to be guarded with me. 
Okay, I'm not here to judge you for things that happened in the past. I am here to help you heal. You don't think I'm a bad person? No. Actually, I always thought that you were perfect, but it's really nice to see that you have problems, too. Thank you. I would have gotten them to free the hostages, but you never look before you leave. Because I can fly. Oh, okay. Obviously, I've upset you, Maggie. I really, I just want you and Cara to get along. Cara and I get along great. It's Supergirl that I sometimes have trouble with. Okay, just keep trying, okay? Okay, for you, yeah. Okay. Where are you going? To catch up with Kara and tell her to try too. She's just as stubborn as you are. Don't wait up for me. I was just looking for Alex. Wynn says she didn't check in last night or report this morning. What do you want? I have your sister. He said he would kill Alex if I didn't break Peter Thompson out of Albatross Bay. He's targeting Alex because she's my sister. I know who you are. The people that I work with, they will find me. And when they do, you will be in a world of hurt. When I get out of here, I will end you! Free my dad! Or your sister dies. You know it'll be fun? Finding out which one of you loves her more. I want to get her as badly as you do, but we can't punch our way out of this. I'm not waiting. You're not the only one who cares about I'm her. I'm going. Alex. Maggie? I'm right here. Maggie, I, I, I need to speak to you. Alone. Babe, everyone here is working hard and we're going to find you. The water is rising fast and there are things that I need to say. Don't start talking like this is the end. I don't want it to be, but in case this it's is... It's not. You're a badass, Danvers. Hold on until I find you. Maggie, listen to me, please. No. Hey, we just started this, you and me. And it's not gonna end. Not today, not for a long time. We just had our first Valentine's Day, and I want to do more with you. I want more firsts. I want to have a first vacation. Or I want to name our first dog. Do you want to get a dog? Yeah, um... Let's name our Gertrude. See? It was a lifetime of first that we're gonna do together, so you hold on, okay? Hold on until I get to you. You promise. Promise me. Where's it? Alex. What happened? I told you not to rush in. Now you made things worse. I did what I thought was right. I should have been heard. I should have been listened to. I'm her girlfriend. I'm her sister. And you think that trumps me. But you know what's right for her. I, I got her to be herself, Kara. You guys talking about me at the end there? Yeah. She said how lucky I am to have you. She's right. I have just as much to lose as you. Maggie? Maggie. I'm so glad you're okay. I'm 
just so glad that when things look their worst, we both thought to run straight to a bar. <laughs> You know what I just realized? The first time we met was when the president got attacked. Makes this kind of a full circle thing for us. Marry me. Excuse me. Marry me. Please. Maggie and I figured it out. I want the biggest, gayest, most tequila-soaked blowout in history. I don't care about the princess crap. Wear Kevlar and boots. You look beautiful. I just, I want to do it in front of the people we love. Because we, we deserve to be celebrated. We are going to have a really big wedding. The biggest, gayest wedding that National City has ever seen. I love you. You too. Forever. You two are my favorite couple. This weekend is about happy matters of the heart. <laughs> and I did want to make a bridal board for you too, Maggie, but Alex said you have you have no childhood pictures. No. If you don't mind my asking, how how long has it been since you've talked to your parents? Um, since I was 14. My dad was there with a suitcase. And he told me to get into the car. I said, Papi, what did I do? And then he just looked at me with such contempt and said, um, you shame me. That was the last thing that my father said to me. The only thing shameful about that story is how your father treated you, Maggie. I want to share everything with you, Maggie. I mean, the good and the bad. What if you invited them to the shower? Are you kidding? You kicked me out because I'm gay, but hey, come to my gay shower. It was a long time ago. Maybe the world has changed. Maybe they have too. I don't think so. Babe, look, I love you. Just please drop it. OK. Hola, papi. Soy Margarita. I'm getting married. Her name is Alex. Anyway, we're having a party, a wedding shower. See, so yeah, I'd like it if you came. Margarita. Dad. His mom? No, your, your mother isn't coming. Margarita, there's no picture of you up here. No. I want you to know that you are the greatest gift I could receive. Maggie, what exactly have I done that is so offensive to you? You spit in my face. I spit in your face for loving somebody. I am accepted for who I am. The world is different now. Ha! The only thing they hate more than a Mexicano is a homosexual. The world is not different, my dear. That little girl, so desperate to win her father's love. You showed me that I'm not that scared little girl in that picture anymore. I am an adult woman, and I am happy in my own skin. And I am so fortunate that I am surrounded by people who value and cherish me. You're a good egg, Sawyer. I, I don't need you to see me or to get me or to even like me. I, I don't need anything from you. I'm already good. Goodbye, Papa. You're all the family I need. <laughs> I'm happy for you. And I'm glad that you're getting closure. It's good for you. My feelings for you are deeper than anything I've ever known. I can picture our life together.
and it's full and rich and amazing. You're all that I need, Alex. I love her so much. I love you. I love you back. Maggie? She's your girlfriend, right? Fiance.